The unbearable heat wave here in South Korea has taken away more than a dozen lives this summer alone. Yet, we still have uh, at least a few more weeks of summer heat. Now, how can we bear it? Today, we're joined by Professor Howard Lee. Thanks for joining us. Good morning, and thank you for having me. Professor Howard, it's best to seek shade and rest as soon as you don't feel well because of the heat. Now, what are some of these symptoms of a heat stroke and what should we do when we actually have one? Well, heat stroke is the most serious form of heat injury that people may run into around this time of the year. It happens uh, when the body can't keep the body temperature below 40 uh, degrees Celsius. Uh, which happens commonly after severe physical exertion or prolonged exposure to extremely high external temperature, particularly in the elderly. You have asked about the symptoms. Uh, they include uh, lightheadedness, uh, malaise, headache, visual disturbance, and nausea, uh, which, may, which can be uh, as mild as they can be, so you have to be very careful about that. So symptoms can get more serious, which include uh, vomiting, stupor, uh, which may lead to coma, eventually multiple and failure and death in, uh, in severe cases. Right. These are mild symptoms like lightheadedness that could potentially lead to something more serious, right? Now, the question is, there are that's, inevitable... That's exactly. Right, right. Right. Now, there... So, Go ahead. Now, there are inevitable situations where you have to be outdoors at times, right? Now, what, what do you have to keep in mind when doing outdoor activities when you absolutely have to do? And especially for those elderly farmers who spend more time in the sun. Right. There are at least three important things that you have to keep in mind. Uh, water, shade, and rest. Are the three important things to prevent us from having a heat stroke. Uh, number one, water. So you have to drink water uh, as frequently as possible. And also I want uh, urge uh, elderly farmers to stop working uh, uh, outdoors, particularly between 2 to 2 and 5 p.m. Because uh, around that time, uh, the, the uh, outside temperature, I mean, the air temperature can uh, be uh, very high. And also, they have to take a break, I mean, regular break, at least for 10 minutes every hour, uh, hour of work. Now, we have to keep in mind uh, that elderly people are particularly vulnerable to heat stroke because their body temperature maintenance mechanism may not work as intended, uh, particularly when they are exposed to extremely high, uh, hot uh, weather. Right. Avoid working. Try not to work, especially during 2 p.m. and 5 p.m. when it gets the right. hottest. Sure. Yeah, absolutely. Then that was for the tips for our elderly farmers, right? Then what about any tips for ordinary people like us to avoid getting overheated at this time of the year? Almost the same tips that I can give you, but uh, I, I think they have to refrain from outdoor activities. Mm -hmm. But should, you, uh, should they have to go out, wear a cap or bring a sunshade, uh, such as a uh, handheld parcel. And also, they have to stay inside a um, building where air conditioning is on and air temperature is maintained below 25 degrees Celsius. And also keep hydrating uh, by drinking water regularly, but overhydration is not uh, recommended. Some people may prefer electrolyte-rich solution. Right. Avoid overhydration, but uh, we have to remind ourselves to drink water frequently to stay hydrated. Now, another thing yeah. is the tropical nights. The entire nation has been struggling to fall asleep at night. Now, how are tropical nights defined? Is there a certain temperature and for how long? It's a quite interesting uh, question because tropical night uh, per se, it's not a scientific terminology that every climatologist agrees. Uh -huh. However, in Korea, a tropical night uh, refers to a situation that the air temperature does not fall under 25 degrees Celsius during nighttime. Uh, that is 6 p.m. Uh, through 9 a.m. next day. 
in Europe, the cutoff is 20 uh, degrees Celsius. So uh, every country has a different cutoff. And tropical night, uh, what is so troubling about tropical night is that it keeps us from falling into deep, good sleep, which is truly detrimental to work uh, the next day. Right, I'm one of the victims here. <laughs> now, some people feel they have no alternative but to turn on the air conditioning, right, at bedtime, including myself. For how long and what, at what temperature should we keep the AC on? I mean, should we just rely on our good old fans instead? Well, I'm not an exception to you, <laughs> uh, I, I have to say. Well, it depends on your settings and preferences. Uh, typically, uh, it is advised to set at the temperature at 24 to 26 degrees Celsius, but it can be lowered to, tw to 22 to 23 in case of truck and nights. Uh, but it's not recommended to keep the AC turned on overnight uh, because it will dry up the air too much, uh, which is not good for the respiratory tract, making us uh, vulnerable to infections. And you have mentioned about the fans, and the fans can help because they create a cross floor uh, in the room, uh, which is beneficial in making your room, I mean, your home feel cooler when you increase the air conditioning setting. Then would it be okay to have the fan on all night? Because I know it's not recommended to have the AC on all night long. Uh yeah, I don't want to recommend uh, you. I mean, keeping uh, a fan overnight because it will dry up the air uh, uh -huh. as the conditioning system does. So, uh, it's not good for your. Uh, generally, it's not good for your uh, respiratory tract. Uh, I mean, uh, its detrimental effect is almost the same as the air conditioning system. Sure, maybe set the timer before you fall asleep so that it doesn't run all night. Yeah, particularly in the tropical nights, you have to, I mean, keep the air conditioning system uh, as strong as it can be uh, with uh, some help from fans and then run it for, let's say, 30 minutes and then uh, turn it off and then you can get, uh, I, mean, uh, I mean, fall into sleep uh, relatively easily. All right. But I don't recommend you keep the air conditioning sure. overnight. So, yeah. Right. Everything in moderation. Water, shade, rest. We'll remember that. Thank you so much for your insights this morning, Professor Howard. You have a good day. Stay cool. Thank you.